something to do Saturday. And now that the kids are out of school, does your house feel like a zoo or a three ring circus? Are the kids hanging around just looking for something to do? Well, hey, I have got 10 tips in 10 minutes to keep your kids entertained this summer. Are you ready? Here they are in no particular order. Let's get started. Okay, I know, I said just random order, but number one, the library. Come and visit the Story Walk and Storybook Park. You can do the interactive story, check out our oversized book covers, and Storybook Park is open 24 seven, so it can easily fit into your schedule. But that's just the beginning. Are you signed up for summer reading? Are your kids signed up for summer reading? We have a reading program from birth all the way up to grandma and grandpa age. So come in, check it out because there's prizes. And of course, there's the famous prize wheel for the kids. But wait, there's more. How about summer Saturdays in the park? The whole family can come get in on the fun where we make a cool game, do some recycling, and shh, don't tell the kids, but a little bit of learning. That's so much fun. And that's not all that's happening in the park. Our movies in the park are back this summer. We've got three fabulous movies. You won't want to miss any of them. They're so cool. Make sure that you're checking out our website, and our calendar because we've got all kinds of in-person programming happening, exciting stuff here at the library. That's just one way to keep your kids entertained this summer. When it comes to keeping the kids entertained, bigger is always better. So how about a game of Giant Kerplunk? This is a pretty easy game to make with just a few household materials, things you might even have laying around the house, like chicken wire or an old coffee table that you can cut a hole in the top of. And I even added a laundry basket on a Lazy Susan so that we could keep score. Yeah, my family's a little competitive. The marshmallow sticks you can find at the dollar store or online. And the ball pit balls, hey, check out the garage sales or your local Goodwill. If not, they're relatively cheap online as well. Once you get your wire cylinder together, all you have to do is put your marshmallow sticks in, fill it with balls, and you are ready to play Giant Kerplunk. This is a great game because it's relatively inexpensive. It's fun for all ages, from little ones to adults. And the best part, of course, is when it all goes kerplunk and it's not your turn. If you've got kids, that means you've got dirty laundry. So save those empty laundry jugs and turn them into targets for your water squirters. It's lots of fun. In fact, we even have a summer Saturday where we'll take you through step-by-step -step how to do it and you can bring home your own fish. Are you worried about that summer slide? You know, those skills your kids will lose over the summer? Well, hey, let's have a spelling lesson. Yeah, like they'll go for that. Who wants to play giant Scrabble? Now we're talking. Just grab some tiles from your local hardware store, the ones that are on clearance, or better yet, it's garage sale season. You can probably find a whole box through cheap. With a permanent marker, you just write some letters on there, and hey, we're ready to play, right? Need a Scrabble board? Any flat blacktop or concrete surface and some chalk will set you up, or a tarp from the dollar store with a permanent marker. And we're ready to practice spelling. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. We're ready for giant Scrabble. That's way more fun. So grab some of your old coffee cans or those lovely Christmas cans you've had stashed in the attic or those cookies that you finished up a while ago. Stop saving them and turn them into music. You can grab some inexpensive shepherd hooks from the dollar store or even some tomato steaks or cages. Drill a couple holes into your cans, a couple of zip ties to attach your drum to the steak or hook, and you're ready to play. <laughs> to paint but you don't want to deal with the mess well hey take it outside a little water and any flat smooth surface becomes a canvas with no mess to clean up in fact it might end up even being cleaner when you're done another added bonus to painting with water is that it won't hang around long that means your kids are going to be busy creating and recreating of taking your empty laundry jug to the recycling bin, repurpose it first, 
with just a few household ingredients like Dawn dish soap, some baking powder, and some corn syrup, you can make a batch of homemade bubbles. And an empty laundry jug makes a nice bubble dispenser complete with a push button top. Use a couple fast food cups with lids and you've got yourself a no spill bubble container. Pipe cleaners make good homemade bubble wands. You can make a whole lot of bubbly fun with this. And as long as we're talking about recycling household items, don't throw those milk jugs away yet. Simply cut the bottoms off, add a little tape, cover up those sharp edges, and you have a nice sand scoop or a pair, make a nice ball toss game. Take the lid off and you have a super cool funnel. You can even cut the handle and hang it on a fence or a railing and it becomes a ball catcher. Hey, and if you haven't been able to wear out your kids during the day, let's have a little nighttime fun. Take a one liter bottle or a two liter bottle, fill it with water, then grab some glow sticks from the Dollar Tree. They're four in a pack for a buck. Take your glow sticks out, get them activated, shake those puppies up. In fact, hey, extra tip, did you know that putting your glow sticks in the freezer can actually preserve them for longer? But once you get your glow sticks ready, just drop them into the two liter bottle of water replace the cap and you're ready for some nighttime fun. We're ready for some midnight bowling. It also works cool as path markers, ring toss, or any fun thing. So light up your nights with some glow sticks and water. Are you looking for a cool idea on a hot day? Take a thumbtack or nail and poke them into a recycled plastic one liter or two liter bottle. You can even use the water bottles, but the bigger ones are better because they hold more water. Once you get the holes poked inside, fill the water up just to about the line where the label ends. Of course, you can peel off the label and decorate it, and then you're ready to play. So there you go, 10 tips in 10 minutes or less. We did okay, right? If you're thinking, well, that won't keep my kids busy all summer, the library has tons of books, movies, and all kinds of resources to keep those kids busy, entertained, and shh, maybe even a little bit educated. So make sure that you're checking out the library for all kinds of ideas to keep your kids entertained this summer. Until next Saturday, I will see you real soon.